Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at ChatGPT Plus and compare it against Google Gemini Advanced and see which particular AI tool is the best one for you. Now, the first thing you're going to have to remember is that these specific tools kind of offer the same type of thing. So they're basically going through and they're offering you these, you know, really cool chatbot like experiences. And that's the kind of what they offer at the core. There's a lot of differences, but there's way more similarity. If you're taking a look at both these devices, you are probably going to see they are way more similar than not, which I'm totally fine with. So if you want to go ahead and kind of think about it like that way, that is kind of the main way to think about it. They're both way more similar than not. Now, they, th the thing here is that ChatGPT Plus is the paid upgraded version of the standard version of ChatGPT. And Google Gemini Advanced is basically the exact same thing. It's the, ex you know, enhanced, more extreme, more, you know, pricier version than Google Gemini. So these are like the, not their top tier options, but it's like a more expensive paid option, which I think is really cool. Now, when you take a look at these types of devices or these types of softwares, a big thing you're going to have to remember is that between both, the ChatGPT Plus, where this one kind of excels at in some ways, is that it's better at understanding natural language, kind of coding tasks and creative writing. That could be one area where ChatGPT Plus is a little bit better. It also offers a little bit more human-like conversational experiences, and it provides access to a variety of plugins, a ton of different accesses to all these different tools that were already developed. And I think ChatGPT is kind of like the industry standard. That's the one that is a little bit more popular, and that's the one that I think a majority of people probably know about. With Google Gemini Advanced, this one handles larger context windows. It's beneficial for extensive document analysis. Because it is a Google Gemini product and is a Google product, it does actually integrate very, very well with other Google tools. So if you're using things like Gmail or Google Docs or Google Drive, Google Gemini Advanced actually plugs in very well. It's already just like embedded into the website. And honestly, I use it so much. If I'm wanting to, you know, kind of, actually, I'm not gonna lie, it makes your job much easier if you can just kind of Google through your products or your projects or your Google Drive folders if you're trying to make project documents or something like that. It actually makes things a lot easier by just going through and kind of looking through those files or getting synopsizes of everything right within Google Gemini. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to connect anything. It's automatically embedded. So that right there is another very cool thing to kind of think about there from that particular perspective as well. I'm a massive, massive fan of that type of device when it comes down to it from that side. Now, on top of that, another big thing to keep in mind here is that they both kind of offer different plugins and things like that. I would probably say for the most part that with Google Gemini, especially the advanced model, this one is really good if you use a lot of Google products. If you have like a lot of different Google products, you might prefer, you might find that something like Google Gemini might be an easier, better one for you to kind of think about because that one does kind of give you overall, like I said, a better experience here. And that one does kind of make more sense, at least from what I can tell. So I do like Google Gemini a lot. And that one just in and of itself was a little bit, you know, better for Google integration. With ChatGPT Plus though, this one seems to be more aligned with more advanced options. And if you're looking for kind of the industry standard, ChatGPT, not only I feel like it has more development going for it, but also the other big thing is that from what I can tell, Google does actually, I mean, you know, OpenAI kind of gets a lot of funding, but Google has a lot of money too. But I'd imagine that with, you know, ChatGPT Plus, they're kind of like improving their product faster than Google Gemini. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Personally, for me, it's one of those things that we're just going to have to kind of wait and see what happens. But I would say both these are very good, but my personal favorite one is ChatGPT. But I think Google Gemini, even the advanced model is still very good as well. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.